Hello dear viewers. Welcome to my channel. With only 45 days until the 2024 US official political decision, the race between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. Donald Trump is in front of Kamala Harris in three milestone or swing states in front of the country's November 5th races, Reuters detailed referring to a new citizen survey. The survey showed Trump had an edge over Harris in certain states only a month and a half before the US decisions on November 5th. The seven swing states are critical to winning the official bid. Trump, who is the conservative official chosen one and previous US president, is driving rival Harris, the popularity-based candidate and US VP, in important milestone territories of Arizona, Georgia and North Carolina, as the New York Times Stock Siena School survey delivered on September 23 it added. In Arizona Trump is driving 50% to 45% against Harris while in Georgia he is ahead by 49% to 45%. Also, in North Carolina he remains at 49% to Harris's 47%. Prominently, these surveys have a room for give and take of around plus vex in 4.4 rate focuses in Arizona, where 713 citizens were overviewed. In Georgia, the room for give and take is plus 4.6 focuses among 682 individuals talked with. Also, in North Carolina, it is Plux Sachs 4.2 for 682 electors who were surveyed. Trump's leads in these three states in this manner falls inside the room for mistakes. Recently, the NBC News survey and CBS surveys both showed electors in every one of the seven milestone states were tied intently among Trump and Harris. A Reuters Ipsos survey likewise showed a tight matchup between the rivals. Harris is driving Trump by 49% to 44% in the NBC News survey directed from September 13-17, while the CBS Ipsos survey led from September 18-20 showed Harris drives Trump by 52% to 48%. The CBS Ipsos survey it said had recorded every one of the seven swing states as shots in the dark, with Harris making it over the greater part line however inside the room for mistakes in five of these states. Further, both Trump and Harris are unequivocally pushing their missions in the swing states to activate electors, it added. The Bloomberg report additionally noticed that early Democratic has started in many states before the authority political race booked on November 5th. Among the states that have begun the cycle incorporate Minnesota, South Dakota and Virginia, with others expected to start in October. The overview of likely electors in the U.S. was directed between September 17-21 in the midst of the North Carolina lead representatives race and incorporated the day that an evident second death endeavor was made against Trump in Florida, September 17. The mission run to final voting day has started and as usual, an excessive measure of consideration is on open surveying. The real story of the campaign thus far is being told by those polls, but are we willing to listen? Looking across the mission throughout recent months, past the more stunning turns, including two bad habit official determinations as well as President Biden's extraordinary withdrawal and two endeavors on Donald Trump's life, a more clear story arises. The main massive changes in no-holds-barred official surveying occurred one after another. After Biden's discussion and afterward after Harris supplanted him as the nominee, that's it. The remainder is clamor. Starting in the spring of this current year, Trump held a little however consistent lead in the surveying midpoints, going from one to two places. None of the everyday show moved that lead past that. Biden's discussion execution made a prompt and supported extension in Trump's lead, to almost four focuses broadly. Significantly, key numbers on private qualities, including smartness and ability to settle on great financial choices, swung in the previous president's approval. The death endeavor and GOP show might have hardened that change yet there is little proof that it extended it. Biden's choice to leave the ticket, and Harris's fast solidification of help, had a gigantic impact the other way. Looking across surveying midpoints, from Trump's top to Harris's pinnacle, aggregate occasions around the progress caused a net difference in more than six focuses. What about Harris's performance at the most recent debate? The early returns show no reasonable flood. In contrast to the media's breathless coverage of unprecedented campaign events, polling reveals a story that is more boring. This political race seems to be two of the last three cycles. In both 2012 and 2016, the political race was extremely close at this stage. In 2016, Hillary Clinton only had a two-point advantage after two months. 
Barack Obama held an important lead right now in 2012. The 2012 race fixed after the main Obama-Romney banter, when Romney really pulled ahead by around one point. However, eventually, Obama won by three, with 51% of the vote and 332 electing votes. In 2016, Clinton's noteworthy lead extended, after her last discussion against Trump. However, at that point shrank after James Comey declared the FBI was examining the previous Secretary of State's utilization of a confidential email server. Clinton took the well-known vote by two, with 48% of the vote, yet got only 232 appointive votes in her misfortune. And the states? That is the right inquiry, on the grounds that the triumphant up-and-comer needs to win 270 electing votes by winning states, not the public vote. Yet, with regards to surveying, the math is extremely convoluted. The GOP is better positioned to win without winning the national popular vote because of their dominance among rural voters. On the other hand, Democrats accumulate extra votes in the urban areas of states like California and New York. So what do the surveys say regarding which states we would it be a good idea for us to check out? Here's where the computations are hardest. At the state level, polls vary in quality and frequency, making it difficult to accurately evaluate the winnability of various states. In addition, there are at least a dozen plausible combinations of states, including portions of states in Nebraska and Maine, that could see either side win or draw at 269-269. One cycle's critical states are frequently not the same as the past one. In 2020, the significant states were Georgia and Arizona. In 2016, it was the Blue Wall of Pennsylvania, Michigan and Wisconsin. Additionally, in 2012, Obama gained control of the Republican strongholds of Florida, Ohio and Virginia. What's it will be in 2024? Might it at some point be the blue wall once more?